In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction into using one of the new features built into AppPressor 3, Custom Pages. Creating custom pages is a great way to build lightning fast pages for your mobile app. These pages get compiled into your app so they're immediately available even when your users are offline. Adding custom pages is simple. I'm going to walk you through a couple of examples. First, let's add a Google Map. I'm going to start by going to maps.google.com and you can see I've already done a search for the page I want to add. I'm going to click on the share button and then I'm going to click on embed maps and once I get the iframe information I'm going to right click on that and choose copy. From here I'm going to head over to my app presser and I'm going to start by clicking on custom pages and add a new page. I'm going to choose custom HTML and I'm going to give us a title. And I'm going to paste in the iframe information and hit save. Okay. Next, to add that to the menu, I'm going to back up, go over to menus, choose my app menu, and I'm going to add a new item. It's not showing in the list automatically. Do a quick search and click on the plus. I'm going to click save. For this page to become available in our pre previewer, we do need to step back to the main menu and click on Build and Preview, and then click on the Build App button. So it'll take just a second, and now we can see a preview of our page. Custom pages also allow you to create custom layouts. AppPressor is based on Ionic 2, so you can use any Ionic tags in your custom pages. To do this, we'll create a new custom page just like we did before. And I'll paste in some sample code. Once that's in, I need to go back to my menu and add a new menu item. and then rebuild my app after saving my data first. Alright, once that preview is reloaded, I can now go and see my card data for my Ionic card. For some card layout code examples, check out the component section in the documentation at ionicframework.com. Please keep in mind that you can use Ionic UI components like we did earlier in this video, but not the full Ionic API or custom Angular 2 components. For example, using the form component from Ionic would look nice, but it wouldn't do anything. For this final example, I'm going to show you how you can mix standard HTML along with the Ionic components when creating your custom pages. A great use for this would be to build a custom static home page. In this example, I'm going to add a header graphic to the page and display a list of the pages and buttons. I'm going to start by going to Custom Pages, Custom HTML, and I'm going to give it a name. And we're going to paste in my sample code. As you can see up at the top, I've added a header graphic, and down below that is my Ionic components. Hit Save. Back up over to the menu find my page and add it now I'm gonna take this one step further where I'm gonna to go to the ion class which I've already done for the others and I'm going to add an icon class down here and hit save I'll show you how that works now when you see on your menu, you've got nice icons displayed right here in the side. For a list of all of the icons, please see the link in the documentation. So the final step, so we can preview, is to build our app. And now when we go to the press chat, we can see our graphic along with our buttons. So the next step in this would be to add custom HTML or CSS to change the look even further.
As you can see from these quick examples, the custom pages are a powerful tool you can add to your app. For more information on AppPressor, custom pages, or any of the other new features in AppPressor 3, be sure to check out our site at AppPressor.com or use the links in the video description below.